Hi, I'm Kathy Houchen. I'm an elementary music teacher from Watertown, Wisconsin. I've been teaching elementary music for 37 years. I've taught all grades, but I've concentrated the last 20 years in elementary music. I am so glad that the Country Music Association is going to pair up with Discovery Education. As a member of the Discovery Educator Network, I have learned so much from teachers all around the world, literally. And I know through the use of social media, if I have a question, if I have a need, if I need a resource, if I don't know how to do something, I just jump on there and they will give me the answer right away. We're a great sharing group and we have become one big family. I joined Discovery Educator Network in 2006 and my teaching has not been the same since. As I look at what music teachers need, one thing they need are song resources. I have students come to me all the time and say, can we sing this song? Or I heard this song on the radio, can we sing it? We need popular songs, but they need to be wholesome. And so we need a resource where we can know that the lyrics are fine, I'm not talking about drink and smoke and that kind of thing. If it's on Discovery, I know that it would be safe to show my students. So lots of times I end up saying to my students, I don't know that song, I have to listen to it first to see if it is something that I can share with the classroom. And students don't often see what a teacher sees in a song. So if it was on Discovery, then I know it would be safe. I have several ideas and these are not in any particular order of priority. The other thing we could use is videos about country music, the history of country music, maybe the history of country music legends and how they started from bare roots. I think of like a Dolly Parton who started with nothing and became famous. Um, instruments, country instruments, how they have evolved, how they've changed, what they are. Um, that kind of thing would be great. Discovery has done a lot of virtual field trips, which are just amazing. Um, a few weeks are going to the tundra and see polar bears. They've been to egg farms. They've been all over. I think a virtual field trip to the Ryman or to the Grand Old Opry would be awesome. Our students, many of them will never get there on their own. They don't even know what it is. But if we could show them and show them how um, country music started and, and what it is and what it means to be able to present at the Grand Old Opry, what, what it means to sing that way with these stars, that would be wonderful. Another thing you could do in a virtual field trip is you could highlight people besides the lead singers. I stress to my students that it's not only the singer that's up there, but there are lots of people behind them who are working to make that person famous. And we might not know the band members who are playing the instruments or the cameramen or the, the makeup and everything that goes into it. And so as we look at careers, it's nice for them to see oh, this is another option. I really like doing this, so maybe this is where I would like to, to be. So if we could not always focus on the star, but the people around the stars. I have been very involved in a program called Den Voices Connect. It actually became a dream of mine when I was in Nashville. Um, we were in Nashville, and I got this idea that I really wanted to have a virtual choir with my Discovery Education Friends. And I wanted to have a song that we could sing um, and it could go all around the world and we could video it. So we started something called Den Voices Connect. We are now in our third year. Basically what we do is we take a song, we all learn the same song, we all make a recording of that song, and then we have a teacher who puts it into one video. Now this is not like professional video equipment type thing. It's just plain ordinary. I make a video at my school, you make a video at your school, and it just gets put together. We have concentrated on songs that were very generic. They have a world, um, a world theme. We have done Agents of Change where we can all change the world. We've done, um, this year we're doing one called We Might Heal because with all the violence that's going on around the world that we can all heal from this. Um, it would be awesome, I mean truly awesome, if uh, CMA could come up with a song for us to do. Um, we look for free songs, ones that we can um, get the copyright availability to do. The other thing that has come out of this project is we pair schools up. So we've had schools from Turkey, um, we have one from Egypt, we have them from England, 
We have them from Greece, we have them from Canada, the United States, and we pair them up so that they can have contact during the year with these other schools. So um, one of my favorite stories about this is I was paired with a school in New Jersey. I teach in two schools, a city school and a country school. I was out at my country school. At the country school every year, the family that raises turkeys for their turkey dinner bring them to school so we can see them ahead of time. So they had these turkeys in a cage in my classroom because I teach in an all-purpose room. And we actually put them in the Skype we were having. And the kids in New Jersey that were city kids, they had no idea that that's what they ate for Thanksgiving dinner. They thought it came from a factory, I suppose. So actually from a grocery store shelf probably. So it's been a great way for us to, through music, connect and then learn about other people in other places. We share what we're studying, how, oh, I studied that too. Oh, we just read that book. Have you read this book? Lots of things like that. So it's been a great opportunity. And so if CMA could get involved in Den Voices Connect, it would totally be awesome. Um, I am one of the uh, people that picked the song. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. We could also Skype with um, stars. Discovery has done a great job of this, where we can send in questions and then they go and they live Skype with somebody and the questions that were sent in are asked of this person or that. And I just think if some country music stars would talk about how great it is to finish school, to do your education, to get your homework done, to go outside and play, to learn to play an instrument, all those very good things that we want our students to do. I just think the role model would be wonderful. Lastly, my school is really involved in literacy. Now, I believe in musical literacy, and we all know that that can be taught through any song, but we also, our principals want us to work towards reading literacy. So in the real low grades, K-1-2, I've been reading a lot of books, picture type books, and then we either make a song to go with it, we put bring some instruments in, so it might go J-U-M-V, jump, or something every time that's come on a xylophone. Or we might have a sound, so we put some rhythm instrument with it. If we want to thump, we might hit the drum to make these storybooks come to life. And they can see that we love reading and we want them to get involved in reading. I thank you for taking time to listen to me. I'm sure there's lots of other resources that music teachers would be really interested in. I am looking forward to what you might do with Discovery Education. Thank you.